In the last video, we talked about truth trees and the rules for conditionals and biconditionals. We'll go over the solutions to these questions here. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can join to become a member for only two or five dollars Canadian a month, or you can like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Either way, it helps me out greatly. So thank you all to uh, who are doing that. Let's get into the solutions. We're going to turn on our lines here to make things consistent, then we'll turn them off at the end to make them beautiful. Okay. We have P and not R or P and not Q. At P, R, O, Q, and R, we want to show these are inconsistent. So we want to make a truth tree where all of our branches close. Now, we have ORs and we have conditionals. Both of these will branch off into multiple different branches. So I'm just going to pick the more difficult one first to do, which will be P and not R or P and not Q, because it's got more stuff in it. And it's got some ands in there. Those are going to break down nicely later. So we're going to branch. I'm going to change the color of the branch. We're going to do green this time. So let's do a left branch and a right branch. Our left branch will give us P and not R. Our right branch will give us P and not Q. So we get this from line one and we're doing or decomposition. So remember, this just means that each of these branching paths are like one situation. Is P and not R true or is P and not Q true? Okay, now at this point, we have P and not R, we have P and not Q, so we can do decomposition on both of these. So for lines five and line six, uh, we're going to take these from line four and we're going to do and decomposition, which means if P and not R is true, then P is true and not R is true. If P and not Q is true, then P is true and not Q is true. So now we've broken these up. And I already find a contradiction. I find R and I find not R on the left branch. So this means that this left branch will close. We cannot have this. It's impossible for R and not R to be true at the same time. So now all we have to deal with is not Q. And all that's left to do really at this point is to deal with the wealth form formula in line two. So we have to deal with this one. So P arrow Q, remember if we have P arrow Q, either not P is true or Q is true. That's the meaning of that. So we'll split that up into two branches. One goes left, one goes right. On the left side, we have not P. and the right side, we have Q. This comes from line two. And this is conditional decomposition. So this will occur all in line seven. At this point, we have contradictions. So we have not P and we have P. And we have Q and we have not Q. So we're going to close both of these branches because we end up with contradictions. Therefore, I'm going to take this away. All of our branches have closed. This is a closed truth tree. Therefore, we know that all of these are therefore inconsistent. So that's how we do our first problem. This one only had one conditional in it, but we had to use the conditional rule to get this to work. Now, let's do one with a couple biconditionals. So A if and only if B, B if and only if C, and then not A or C. So here we're dealing with only conditionals and biconditionals basically. And we'll put this on to make sure we're nice and consistent. Okay. So I am going to first deal with the one in line three, not A arrow C. Because if we have not A arrow C, we know two things will happen. We know that uh, we cannot have A true and C false in a regular truth table for A arrow C. So remember, if this is true, this is the same thing as saying that A arrow C is false, and this happens when A is true and C is false, which is the same thing as saying that not C is true. So in line four and line five, what we're going to get is we're going to get A being true and not C being true. So this comes from line three, and this is conditional, not elimination, conditional decomposition. Okay, so we've dealt with that. Now with the biconditional, we're going to have to use some branching paths. So let's get these set up. Which one do we want to do first? Well, let's do the first one. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. They're both pretty similar. So the first one, we're gonna have two situations. Either A and B are both true or not A and not B are true. So this will be line six and line seven. So these come from line one. And this is the biconditional decomposition. Okay, in the second branch, we can close this. 
because we have not A and we have A, here we have a contradiction. We cannot have both of those true at the same time, so that branch is closed. On the left side, we have A, B, and not C. So at this point, we still have to continue on the left side. So now we can deal with B if and only if C, so the second line. So this is going to branch out again into two different possibilities. One of the possibilities, remember this comes from line two here, so one possibility is that B and C are both true, or not B and not C are both true. So that's going to be line eight and line nine. Okay, so we can justify this by saying these two come from line two, and this is the biconditional decomposition. Now at this point, all of our complex whiffs are taken care of. We need to check to see if we have inconsistencies. So yes, on the left branch, we have C and we have not C, so that will close. And on the right branch, we have not B and B. So we have a contradiction there too. So both of these branches are going to close. Therefore, all the branches on the tree have closed. This is a closed tree. So we know that this is a set of inconsistent well-formed formulas. So this is what our final truth tree looks like for these sets of well-formed formulas. And that's it as far as these questions are concerned. Hopefully you're able to work with these rules now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.